Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant and today I thought it would be fun to show you my non-maternity pregnancy wardrobe just to give you some ideas on how you can just use the clothes that you currently have in order to go through this pregnancy without having to buy too many maternity clothes. I am going to section this off between seasons so I'm going to start with fall and winter first and then move on to spring and summer only because I got pregnant in early fall so that was just the order that I had to organize my wardrobe for this pregnancy. Okay, so starting off with the fall slash winter wardrobe, um, the first item of clothing I'm going to share is your regular jeans. So again, all of my clothes are non-maternity. I have not bought any maternity clothing throughout this pregnancy, and I'm hoping to keep it that way. So the first one I'm gonna show you is just regular jeans. These are baggy jeans. So I got these baggy jeans a while back when baggy jeans first came into style. And I was able to wear this throughout the entire first trimester, and up until 20 weeks of the second trimester. So I can't fit into these anymore, but I wanted to share this because I wanted to show you this little hack that I used as my belly grew bigger. The hack that I'm gonna show you involves hair ties. Hair ties are gonna be your best friend throughout this pregnancy with your non-maternity maternity wardrobe. So I was able to button my pants up until like maybe like week 10 of my pregnancy. And then as my belly grew bigger, what I did was I tied this, I tied this on the button and then I looped it in this hole here. And I would just loop it back onto the button. So that would kind of create more space and allow you to wear, still wear your jeans as your belly grew bigger. So then as my belly grew a bit bigger, I would use another hair tie and I would just loop it like this and it's the same concept and that way you can really stretch out your denim throughout the pregnancy without having to buy uh, any maternity pants. The second item of clothing I'm going to show is I'm actually wearing it right now. It's these um, It's these stretchy pants I got from Uniqlo. I, I think I shared it a few weeks back when I shared the Pregnancy Essential video, but these stretchy pants that I got from Uniqlo have been great throughout this pregnancy as well for the fall and winter colder months. And if it's like a cooler day, I would just wear those Uniqlo heat tech clothing underneath because those are also stretchy. With your regular jeans and with stretchy pants, then you can just wear any sweaters that you have and just mix and match. So I'm wearing my black um, square neck sweater right now. I'll just share my sweater collection. So this is the great mock neck that I got from, from Everlane a few years back. And this has been really warm for those winter months. This maroon color I got like maybe 10 years ago. And again, I would just mix and match these with the pants that I had throughout this pregnancy. Yeah, and then these two are the alpaca sweater from Everlane and they've been a huge part of my staple throughout this pregnancy too. It keeps you really warm so you don't have to like layer too much and so you don't have to buy too many heat tech clothing or too many other clothes. And these have like an oversized fit so it's been really great also for this pregnancy as your belly group grows bigger. I also love a good crew neck sweater 
and that's also been something I've been kind of rotating throughout this pregnancy as well. It also keeps you really warm and it has like a more casual look to it. So this one I got from Korea. Um, it has a cute little BMO sweater. I actually got this because my husband has one. He had one so I wanted to match with him so I got a smaller size and this one has been working really well throughout this pregnancy too. And then these two are a recent addition to my wardrobe. I got these from Costco and they were only like $17. So one thing I did not expect once I got my Costco membership is I completely became a Costco fashion girly. So anytime I see something from Costco that I really love, I would just buy in multiple colors. So I got this one in pink and it's just such a fun color. And then I have this one in white, which I also absolutely love. So moving on, you know, sometimes I just feel like wearing a dress. And in the colder months where I can't wear those like floral summer dresses during fall and winter, I got, I would wear like a sweater dress that I got a few years back from Forever 21. And these dresses have been amazing throughout this pregnancy. It's very form-fitting, but it also stretches out. So as I've been gaining weight and as my belly's been growing bigger, so these dresses are super fashionable and it also allows me to be really comfortable. So with all my sweaters, I like to, um, sometimes if I don't feel like wearing pants, I would wear my dresses as well. And these sweaters also go really well with the dresses. So that's all the fall and winter clothing that fits me right now. I, obviously I do have other clothes, but then I just don't fit them anymore. So these are just what fits me at the moment. I know it's not that many items of clothing, but then the items that I do have allows me to mix and match so that it does give me a lot of um, variety to wear, to dress up throughout this pregnancy. The weather's been getting warmer, which I'm really excited about because that means I can start wearing my spring and summer clothes. So I'll show you what I have. So to start, I think this might be wishful thinking, but I'm hoping that these tank tops here will fit me. So I have these tank tops, these like workout tank tops, which I really loved while when I wasn't pregnant. And I haven't tried these on yet, but I'm really hoping that these will fit me just because I feel like these are really great basic items to mix and match with your outfit. I have one in black, I have one in beige, and then I have one in brown. Again, it might be wishful thinking, but I'm really hoping that I can fit into these. Next up are light flowy pants. I got these Mousseline um, linen pants from Costco. These are the Jessica Simpson collection and I bought one in the terracotta color and then I also have one in black. These are also stretchy and they're super stylish so you can look stylish while you're pregnant. I love the color as well. It's really easy to mix and match with other colors so you can match it with like brown, beige, black, like a lot of those like really basic colors and I think it just goes really well in my wardrobe. Here's the black one. Next up in my spring and summer non-maternity maternity wardrobe are oversized t-shirts. I also got these from Costco last year and these are just these graphic oversized graphic t-shirts. Um, it has Adidas on it. So I got one in white, white and pink, and then I got one in hot pink. And these are just really fun colors as well. And I think these will go really well with those oversized flowy Mousseline linen pants that I just showed. Next up I have oversized button shirts. So this one I got maybe 10 years ago from Everlane. And it's the silk button switch shirt. These are also from Everlane. I have these oversized cotton poplin shirts. And this one's in white. And then I have one in blue. Before I was pregnant, I would just wear like a basic tank top inside and then wear this over. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping for spring and summer, I can do this again. These are super comfortable. These are like elevated casual, I feel like. And I just think it's a really nice, like casual outfit while also looking like put together, you know? And now we have the fun dresses that I'm so excited to be wearing. 
uh, as the weather gets warmer. So my baby, she's actually due in June, early June. Early June in the Bay Area, we have this thing called the June gloom, where the weather is actually slightly cooler. But I feel like this year might be warmer, just because right now it already feels pretty warm. Perhaps this year will be warmer, so which means I could probably wear some of these summer dresses. So I'll just show you the summer dresses that I have. First up is this maxi long dress. And this color is super vibrant. I got this, uh, let's see, where is this from? So this is from Country Road. I got this in Australia um, a few years back. Oh, I guess I never really mentioned this, but I'm actually originally from Australia. So I still have family there, so I go visit quite often. Um, yeah, and this is just one of the clothing items that I got there. Next up, I have some of these tank top or sleeveless dresses that I'm really excited to wear. So this one's from Uniqlo. This one's more form-fitting, so then it'll show my belly more. This one is also from Uniqlo, but this one's more flowy. Like, it won't feel as so tight on my belly, and it'll be really comfortable. And this one is from Everlane. Uh, this one's a bit of a maxi dress. And then I have these two ribbed dresses from Everlane. One in black and one in brown. So I'm really excited to start wearing these as well. And then since these are short sleeves, if it does get a little cooler, sometimes I'll just wear like a sweater over it and it'll just be a whole new outfit. And then my last set of dresses are these like really flowy, busy patterned dresses. These I got from Dubai a couple years ago. Yeah, it has this really gorgeous, they have these really gorgeous like Eastern, Eastern pattern designs and I just love the patterns. A few months back when we went to Hawaii, I actually wore these two dresses on repeat just because it was just super comfortable and these are great summer dresses because Dubai is essentially a desert. So these are actually made for that type of hot climate. And then I have this one, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So I cannot wait to start wearing this as well. So yeah, that's, um, that's basically all my non-maternity maternity clothing. It's not all of my wardrobe, but it's just the wardrobe that currently fits me. These are just only the items that currently fits me. And it's been really great that I was able to utilize what I already had for, um, th for this pregnancy without just resorting to sweatpants. I actually haven't even needed to shop my husband's closet. I know a lot of pregnant women, they will start wearing their husband's clothing. I haven't been needing to do that just because a lot of my clothes were already stretchy. And as the weather does get warmer, I can start wearing my dresses. So. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really hoping that I can just last through the next like 14 weeks of pregnancy without having to buy any new items of clothing. Thank you so much for watching until now. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you're pregnant, hopefully this gives you some ideas for your own non-maternity maternity wardrobe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.